We all know that getting a good work-life balance is important. But if we're honest with ourselves, few of us really achieve it. Unless, that is, we have some help. Lucy Cameron is an action business coach who successfully moulded her career around her lifestyle. And now she helps others to do the same. Time is the first thing that I'll always look at because most business owners will say, oh, I haven't got time for coaching. I haven't got time, too busy. So looking at how they use their time, you can, you can normally save people about half a, half a day a week. Uh, the first thing they do is a task analysis. So they go through and they note down what they're spending their time on each day. We then go through and we um, assess how long things take, what are the minimum chunks of time they need, are there certain times of the day, the week, that things need to happen. And we juggle the diary around and make sure they get some fire breaks in so they get some time for themselves. We make sure that they get time for doing what they want to do, whether it's the gym, family, team meetings, whatever it is. One of my clients, um, they sell pet food and it's a very small company, there's only a couple of them in the business and everything was him. He was doing the orders, he was doing the packing, he was doing dispatch, he was doing the financials, absolutely everything. What was happening was orders were coming through on the internet. As they were coming through, he was running downstairs to the warehouse, he was packing it all up, getting it all ready to go, but they weren't actually getting picked up until the afternoon. So we re-looked at the timings, he doesn't actually take the orders off the system now until the afternoon, packs and dispatches at the same time. What we also looked at was the value of his time. What most business owners don't do is put a value in money terms to their time. But actually if they did, they'd be slave labour and it would be illegal. So what he did is look at the value of his time and now he's recruited an apprentice. So the apprentice does the pack and dispatch. To me it's about being here for the kids in the morning taking them to school if I can, or at least seeing them before they go to school, um, and seeing them before they go to bed. I don't want to have to just go and see the kids in bed when they're in their pyjamas. I want them to be a bit of energy when I'm talking to them, find out about their day, and be there for them, and to be able to go to the school plays and do the stuff that the other mums do. 